back to the channel. For the longest time, I've been wondering what the 363 stroker would do in this white car that's already been set up for the suspension and racing. We've also wondered that going to a larger turbo versus using the smaller frame 7675 precision that we've been using for years on our setup would net us a better ET and maybe just go faster. So we're gonna go ahead and introduce you to the newest turbo to the channel and what we're about to do with it. Let's get some wrenches out. We got a lot of work to do. We gotta get a turbo swapped, get it fit, fit up. All right guys, so this is the 8782 AGP turbo. It's basically a Z480 that uh, was built at AGP turbo specifically for our Mustang. As we run a T4 flange, this has been modified and customized for what we're trying to do here on the channel. The billet wheel Z480, which is similar to the S480. Really nice shape. What I'm actually doing here is just kind of resetting the band so I clock it correctly on the uh, turbo kit when we put it on. Pretty badass little piece here. Got a twin scroll, 125 housing, 1.25 AR. And we're looking to swap it in turbo Fox body and maybe put a little more power down and put a little more ET. The last video we had, we went out to the track with our buddy Danny Watts at SVT Dan. We actually got a chance to make a full pass on the 363 stroker. And you can see here that it ran a really good time, had a really good eighth mile, but we're pretty sure that we've been out of turbo for a long time. And today we would like to find out if that was the case, because we have one more test and tune of the year. We're gonna head over to the dyno and see if this doesn't make a difference. And then maybe head off to the track on Wednesday, make another video like we just had. But let me get busy here. I got a lot of things I gotta disconnect, which, you know, for the format of the video, it's not too bad. Gotta disconnect the feed and disconnect the return, mock up an adapter here, mock up an adapter here and get the turbo fit because it's actually gotta be clearanced a little bit down here. So we'll see if it actually fits. I gotta take this turbo off anyways, cause I gotta re-weld this bracket down here. So even if the things don't work out, well, then we'll give it a shot still. As you can see, we ended up getting the uh, the turbo off. And like I said, this is a small frame 7675 precision ball bearing turbo. It's done its job. It's done really well for what we needed it to do. But it's just the wheel's just too small. We're out of turbo. And we've been out of turbo for a while. This is the AGP 127 housing, the 1.27 open. So this is a really good housing for a small frame uh, style turbo. Got to be careful I don't mess my oil feed up there. Been rebuilt. I'm happy with it. It's done its job. I gotta do a little bit of cleanup and move a couple things here, but you can see I actually have a mount that I had to create here because the old turbo kit that was installed here on the 363 many years ago with Big Dog, it had different motor mounts, so it moved it like an inch and a half, two inches. So we made a plate here to help support it or whatever. And, and we are going to uh, start test fitting where this goes. We'd have to make an adapter for the downpipe and we have to make an adapter for the exit of the turbo because we're not gonna be cutting anything as of right now. Uh, we might even run with no hood. Uh, this is something I wanted to do when we first put the 363 in. We couldn't because, you know, to be honest with you, there was too many things going on at once, trying to get ready for NMRA, and uh, we're just trying to tweak and tune now at this point. We have to actually clearance the inner fender just a little bit. And one of the things that we have to do is modify our inlet tube with the V-band, which we have over there on the table. And we're gonna make an adapter here for four inch to three and a half. So maybe we could reuse our downpipe, which would be huge, because otherwise I'd have to cut a hole, which I'm not doing. Possibly run without a hood, which I really don't want to do either. We've been anxious to find out if the bigger turbo would make a little more power, have a little more airflow, especially with the bigger turbo kit. Maybe we can get down the track and, and get into the eights. We did run 580 with at 119 with the smaller turbo. Again, this is end of the season and we're just here having a little bit of fun. So we got to get this aluminum V-band mounted on the, just used to be a slip fit. With it being a V-band now, I'm going to have to get that uh, that welded on aluminum. I can't do that. 
we're gonna cut the pipe here and because this is where I'm gonna be able to extend the pipe down by the intercooler and make this fit for that turbo so it'll be a nice little setup so I'm gonna make a four inch to three and a half inch step down adapter to see if maybe the down pipe will fit without me having to make another one which would be really nice because like I said I don't want to worst case scenario we could use this this pipe that had been created a while back you know take the hood off just to see what it will do I don't know we'll figure it out okay so we had to run over to dog racing engines over here at the shop and get an adapter made this is a four inch to three and a half and he also took care of us with this pipe we ended up cutting the pipe and he ended up making a slip fit end so i could actually adjust this in the engine bay so big shout to him appreciate you okay so we're on pretty much day two day three trying to get this uh downpipe mocked up we're gonna go ahead and we had to make an adapter from four to three and a half as we had said earlier got a bunch of stuff going on around here trying to test fit um, ended up getting the piece back from dave that was uh, actually a perfect fit he uh, set it up to where we actually cut the pipe and we're going to just put a slip fit on it like we had talked about and that'll work out pretty well for us right here. All we got to do is lock down a couple more items here and we should be able to fire this thing up. So I appreciate you guys sticking around on the channel. A uh, lot of work going on here. I skipped a lot of like cutting and welding and stuff like that. I'll show you the down pipe after we're done, but the original one could not fit as you can see here laying on the ground. We're not going to cut that up though. So we're just going to make our own as we had some extra pipe laying around for just this very reason. So. Okay, so what I'm doing uh, right now is trying to get my aluminum three and a half inch uh, put into my downpipe. And I think I pretty much got it licked right here. I got a nice three and a half inch down here. I'm going to go ahead and weld up. And I got a little bit to take off that to kind of even it out. But I do like the, uh, the fact that I got to bring it down just a tad. And we'll be welding this together. That's where we're at right now. We do have to weld a bung into the downpipe for the O2 sensor for tuning. Also for the Holly when it comes that time. I'll give you guys a quick test fit. As you can see, we cut this pipe, like I had told you before, where we're basically gonna come into the intercooler here and we're just gonna put a coupler in there, what used to be in there. It's gonna sit right where it needs to sit because we still got a couple bolts to lock down on the turbo, a couple things to weld here on the pipe. Obviously, we're gonna wrap that. It'll be a better looking pipe than that. Do it together with some Amazon pieces and uh, yeah, some mild steel. Well, it looks like we are on day three or four of this video, and I'm sorry it's dragging along, guys. I haven't really updated you too, too much. Yeah, so we ran out of wire trying to mock up a downpipe. It's going to definitely work out for what we needed to do for this setup. Get it painted, get it wrapped with some heat wrap, get it installed, get the rest of the cold side installed, lock up a couple bolts, and it's ready to fire. So, you know, guys, I just want to keep you guys motivated here on the channel. It doesn't matter if it's stock, highly modified, or medium modified. You know, we always try to pitch here on the channel, just stay motivated you know what I mean make a plan execute you know it's easy to write it down but the execution phase is where everybody gets lost I had a plan I wrote the shit down now I'm gonna be a day off hopefully I can get to the dyno tomorrow at the same time and I'll keep you guys updated for the rest of this and the first fire so you will see that in this video so don't skip ahead we're not done yet okay so we finally got our wire switched over for our welder and got most of our downpipe done i'm not a professional welder guys obviously you know i'm not terrible but we had to make a downpipe here and we're gonna paint it with vht and put some header wrap on it like we did here my cousin paul's messing with that i'm gonna go ahead and jump in the wheel well here and start mocking this up on the head cam rubber like seal here for this flange so we're gonna go ahead and set this up should only take us a couple minutes Okay, so we gotta go ahead and reattach our blowout valve. So there's a ring here. You never wanna forget this. Same with your wastegate. It has a metal ring. It's called a fire ring. Definitely don't wanna mess that up. Put a little coupler there that I already have. And uh, use the Vibrant. Um, Vibrant always has really good quality couplers, but we had to cut it. But this used to be all one solid pipe. So the only things we got to finish is this down pipe. So we're gonna take a break here and get this all cleaned up because we're well, gonna get this car fired up. What you guys will see here in this video, we'll pull it out. Probably take it down the road to see if it actually runs and doesn't leak and shit. So did a pretty nice job down here for what it is. Doesn't hit anything. It can move around and not actually. It's, it's really close tolerances all the way down, all the way to the back. But we are ready to fire this thing up and see if it leaks at the top. 
All right, Cousin Paul is going to do the honors. First fire up. Everything's tight. I'm just kind of making sure this doesn't leak here. And hit it. this thing would do with a bigger turbo we're about to find out at the dyno about four o'clock be in another video so hope you guys enjoyed the footage got a couple little tweaks and things to do before we hit the dyno but see you soon in the next one thanks for watching